Hey there, folks. Mark here on the Culinary Compass, and I am at the Bretzel Bar. You can see I'm sporting my very special uh, German haircut today. It's the only Bretzel Bar, at least as called such, here in Berlin. It's right off the Bergenmannstrasse, which is a street that uh, houses enormous amount of small cafes and places to shop, and it is not gentrified. Uh, it's really fantastic. It's a, a real Looks like a good, simple, middle-class, working neighborhood. What is your name? Federico. Federico. Yeah. It sounds Italian. Yeah, I'm Italian. You're Italian. Yeah, what are I you am. doing living in Germany? Well, Try to figure out what to do with my life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you making some progress? No. Uh, you yeah, know. No? no. no. Why should the people who Anywhere. watch this Everything come here? To eat the bretzel. To the bretzel Instead bar. of anything. Everybody works with blogging here. And actually, my boss is not German either. He's from Israel but he spent something like six months wandering around South Germany in order to get the real secret of like, how people, you can get the best pretzel ever. So it's not much about how they taste, but I mean, we, we, we really care about them. Yeah, it's not really how they taste or how they look like, but like the passion we, we put into it. Well, that's, so that's, much that's of food difference. is about passion. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm, I mean, I'm from Italy, then I know yes. it. Yes. <laughs> most of I'm, it is passion. I'm on my way to Milan after a few Ooh, days here. So That's my hometown. It is. Yeah. Uh, but we will talk off camera a okay. little. Where are they made? It's like the next street on the right. There is the bakery. All and right. my super cool English baker. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes over. How often does he bring uh, the bretzels? Oh, as often as I call him and say, yeah, yeah, I need fresh bretzels. Wow. Okay, so the bretzels just arrived. The guy from up the street just carrying them in a little, a little box. Steam coming off the top. Yeah, I'm exaggerating a little bit. So um, one of the things that people are doing with their bretzels, and you're going to probably see some linkages here to lox and bagels. Cream cheese and chives, yeah? So, um, just for the sake of full cream cheese and chive impact, let me get a nice salty bite here. How good does that look, huh? Crazy. How good does that taste? Oh my god. Mmm. Okay. You know, it's definitely one of the best pretzels I've ever had in my life. Now, the warm ones that happen to come out of my oven, I kind of enjoy those too. But, you know, there is something, there is something about eating, eating it here, you know, in Berlin, at the Bretzel Bar. Um, and to, to round out my experience, I'm having what's called an Apfelschorla. It's apple juice with um, sparkling water. We drink this at home all the time. One half apple juice, one half sparkling water. And it's just fun to say, apple shorla. All right. Now, look at this. Hmm? You know what this is, right? In fact, I want to reference you below here. I put a link to the Culinary Compass where I show you how to make Parmesan chips, which is what we have going on here. <laughs> Take a look at the look a look at the bottom of this thing. <laughs> Not yummy, <laughs> actually. Warm or not. Mmm. That's delicious. You can make pretzels at home. It's not really that hard. But let me tell you the real secret. You may condemn me for this. Here's something you can do. Go to your local pizzeria. Ask them for some pizza dough. You, know, you have to pay a buck for it or something. Shape it into pretzels. And below this is a link to a video on how to do that. Bake them. Make sure you have the special pretzel salt. You know, you can use any rock salt. Cut them in half when they come out of the oven and put some cream cheese and chives on them. That's it from the bretzel bar. Ciao for now.